ました。<笑>127 weeks. Hey, hey. It's nice to have Big Alea back, too. You know, yeah, we see it. Right, yeah. And, and Alea, just remind the folks, what are you real quick? What are you The biggest. And, and what else? The baddest. Mm-hmm. And the greatest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wait, that's, that's a slogan now? I, I, I. Alright, alright. I mean, Al, you're the one using with the slogan, so it's over. You can give it up to somebody else. Right, it's a little, it's a little different. We let it rock. We let it rock out. Alright, man. What's up, HB? For sure. Alright, yeah, nice having you back, too. Right, shout out, HB. Okay, alright, cool. I have a little empty space of topics, too, so that's actually what's up. Um. This is about to be a yeah. wild time. No, for real. That was getting money, man. Um, we got a cool today. Anybody? Anybody got anything? Shy, you got you got a cool today? I got what? A cool today. We always start an episode. I got a cool today. I got one. All right, they got it. They got, got it. They got, got it. it. Whoever's quick to it. It could be a lyric. It could be anything that just comes to mind that we just talked about it. So go ahead, Nick. So it's pretty simple. Talk to him. Just whatever you're doing, mm-hmm. never panic. And what does that mean to you? Because at the end of the day, everything is going to be all right. Every little thing is going to be all right. Don't panic. Don't stress. Uh-huh. Trust me. If you stay calm in certain situations, My kind of goes all. along with that. Mine's one word, though. Talk to me. What, what you think that one word is? Qu- quote of the day. What you think that one word? Based off what you say, I was going to say something similar. Look, in the heat of the moment, breathe. Classic. It's the simplest thing. And sometimes it's the hardest thing in the world to do. Especially like underwater that. now. Mm-hmm. So basically, just to stay cool, I guess, is the message for the day. Ain't that? Right as he grabs the bottle, right? Yeah, the the yeah, E and J, right, right, right. Stay right. cool. No, and seriously, stay I, cool. And I ain't talking about Ernie Johnson. No. Right, yeah, so for sure, shit. Stay cool. All right, let's get this money then. Um, just anybody want to start off with the um, first question? We gonna hand it to Alex. I was gonna say everybody getting real mute mouth. Yeah, yeah. let's get to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get money, man. Hey, start with the um, start with the basic. Okay. Sha. What? <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Sha. Yeah, right. What is? And I prefer Sha. You can call me Sha. That's good. Yeah. Okay. My mom calls me Sha. But <laughs> your mama calls you Sha. I'm gonna call you Sha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I'm all right. Hey, I'm all right. What um what inspires you? Hmm. That's a million dollar question. Okay, what right. doesn't inspire me is a better yeah, question, but I'm going to say what inspires me. You can answer uh, that one too. Yeah. Can I ask you a question to answer my question? Ooh, and I like what, 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 In what aspects are you talking about inspiration? Like um, creativity, just to keep pushing? In what way? Like life or career? Yeah, yeah. Let's do, let's do life. Let's do life. My kids. The biggest inspiration. Um, I'm learning more about God as I grow. Um, but my go-to are the kids. I have two sons, um, a daughter, and 
honestly, I look at myself as like a godfather. Mm-hmm. Like there's multiple people in my life who have children who, you know what I'm saying, look at me as like a godfather, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And bring God into their life in a real sense. So, I mean, the kids. Now, on an artistic standpoint, Talk to life. Life is inspiration, you know? <laughs> Colorblind, so my perception of things is a little different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I find poetry in color somehow. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I could probably elaborate on that a little bit more later, but I'm on some like, I don't know. You, you ever felt red in comparison to like an orange? Yeah, it's like two different feelings. It mm-hmm. feels different. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I'm just influenced by life. Mm-hmm. Short, shorter answer to life, man. It could be walk in and just see somebody's hair blown in the wind and inspire me, bro. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I hope that answers your question. No, 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 it does, it does. Because, yeah, I definitely know what you're talking about. It's like feeling different, like, colors. I got one. Out of all the projects you've done, musically, filming, which one was the toughest to do? Ooh, that's, I've never been asked that one. I thought the best was the best was my favorite. Okay. Sure. Man, look, up. Shades off now, right? It's a good question. Mm-hmm. So look, fun fact. Last year, around this time, I had like 200 songs on all streaming services. If you go now, it's less for a reason. And all my projects are down except for one series of, I had, I had a collection of projects that were like series, where it's like, I had an album called What Love Does, and I just called it Wild, W-L-D. Um, and it was a series. I had Dexter, which was remixes. You ever seen the show Dexter, Dexter Morgan, Serial Killer Who Kills Serial Killers? Oh, wow. I was basically killing beats that people kill. And I called you, I called you Dexter. Um, I took all that down. I took all these tapes down. Only thing left is Nine. Nine is like my nickname. I would stand up, take my shirt off and shit, but I got a big ass nine on my stomach. So, <laughs> I got a big ass nine on my stomach. I'm from the ninth floor, New Orleans. New Orleans East, and I'm also ninth of nine of ten kids. You know what I'm saying? People just call me nine. Mm-hmm. Um, my my old DJ name had nine in it as well. Um, the nine series was therapeutic for me, and that's why it was the toughest to do because those are my most aggressive songs. Those are my most like heart wrenching songs. Like the most like it puts you on the edge of your seat. Like I got songs like fuck shit, man. I've never performed that song and people stayed in their seats. I've never done it. I can't even imagine. Yeah, that was a great question. You got anything over here? Big over here. What's up? <coughs> What's up? Oh, um, <laughs> how do you how do you navigate when you create? How do you navigate? How do I navigate? And that's a great question too. So, do you collect anything? I collect stuffed animals. That's fine. That's, that's fine. I have like thirty. So look, think about it like this. I'm gonna try and draw a bridge between us and maybe you'll feel me. I wear a lot of hats. I don't collect hats, but I wear- That's crazy because I started to love hats. True. And I collect them. There you go, true. Me, me as well, <laughs> but it's not intentional. I'm not walking around like scouting for hats, but I do, I pick every fire when I see it. I have to. I thought but he just came for me. He to answer your questions. Me. Wait, can you repeat your question one more time? You wear a lot of hats. Cause, I, cause you, you yeah, told yeah, us yeah. this, this joke. Okay. I want you to finish it. All right, cool. Cause we so know what you're talking about, but finish it. Sure, how you navigate work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How you mm-hmm. navigate. Yeah. Is, Where, you yeah. got to be confident. You got to wear your hats confident. Ooh, when I say I that, like that, I am a, I am a. Look, you pull up on me, you pull up on me, and you rap or you sing. This is what's gonna happen. I will be a good person, good friend first. You gonna come in, I'll make you comfortable. You gonna have something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it takes to make you comfortable. Good person first. Second. I might turn into a executive producer. I might ask you what you want to do, what the plan is with the session, and then I'll turn into a sound engineer. I'll record the session. If I if I don't have to turn into a producer as well and make the beat or a co-writer and be a songwriter. Basically, how I navigate is like how most filmmakers make their movies. They see the end and work with that in mind. Know the end goal. And I just section everything off where it's like this hour is gonna be this, this 30 minutes is gonna be that. It's not gonna be perfect, but at least we got a map to get through what we gotta get through. I, I like that. You you like work that like really good. Really. All right. Um, I my, that. Go ahead. Sure. my next question is: When it comes down to promoting yourself, how do you feel? That's a good question. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. I think it's one of the most important things you could do. Um, 
that's like a long game. Glasses off again. I don't know which camera I'm gonna look at, so I'm gonna look at all of them. That's you looking right there, right? Uh, yeah, so bye. <laughs> you were. Hey! Right, yeah, 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 we here too. Message button. Yeah. Message right, right, yeah, right. Huh, I wish. So, yeah, for real, for real, I'm not gonna hold you. It's important. So, I got a long game, right? If there's 7 billion people on Earth, mm -hmm. and I'm only around 300,000 of them, mm -hmm. how do I get to them 7 billion? Is my, like, ah, uh, right? Now, I'm on some energy, like, where are my followers? YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and all streaming services. Of course, TikTok and all the little fun things you could say, but those are the main ones. Now, if I know that, I could be sure to, it's the war. It's like, bro, it's a game for attention, right? My name, like, no disrespect, I hope I don't trigger anybody. I was called out of my name at the very beginning of this episode, right? But that's not <laughs> nobody's fault but mine. I didn't stamp. In everybody's mind, that is Shiver, <clears throat> not Shiver, right? So I don't blame nobody but me. You know what I'm saying? I've had incidents yeah. where people came up to me and was like, um, Mr. Bruce, and I'm like, because they called me Shiver. They called me Shiver. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can tell who knows me and who don't just by the pronunciation. Um, man, I feel like I'm very off from the question. What, what, was, what was the root of the question again? How you promote yourself? Bro. Oh, how do you feel about how, how do you, I feel about okay, it? I so feel basically, like it's a basically put it this way. How do you how do you feel promoting yourself in the racing scene? Put it that way. No, that's different. Okay, so there's a couple ways. So I feel like it's important. One is like remember when we were wearing hats? The first thing I said, be a good person. Mm -hmm. Man, look, I'm not going to people's DM and just sending them uh content to watch. I'm checking on my people, you know what I'm saying? I'll reach out like, hey, hope all is well, peace and blessings. I hope everything is good with you and the family. All is well on my side. I'm just reaching out to say, hey. And then I just go on about my day. I'm not sending you no link or to my bio or like my post or come look at my story. None of that. I'm trying to be personal, you know? Like, legacy is everything. And these little three-minute music videos, they cool. You know what I'm saying? They're impactful. You can play them on repeat. But... I don't know. I want my spirit to live. The music is going to live regardless. I want right. my spirit to live. So, promoting, you got to be, you got to be, how do you say it? Basically, personable. If you're going to promote, you got to be personable. You can't just sit here and just keep creating ads and not actually come into the shows. People want to touch you. You know what I'm saying? They want right. to see you. They want to smell you. You know what I'm saying? They want to see what kind of shoes you got on. Like, just my thought process. Mm -hmm. then, um, the people I'm a fan of, I met in person. You know what I'm saying? They sold me on their personality. The music was just a bonus. I got one for you. Do you think that talent alone is ever enough? But like, or, or, well, mm, no. talent and skill, I'd say. Like, you know, like the dedication. Ne but, no, neither mm -hmm. one of them together is enough. No. Okay, okay. Fuck no, hard work. Right. All day. Hard work, hard work, hard work. I kind of, I might have reached Hard this. work. Hard work, hard work. Because look, if you are more talented than me, right, and you have better skills than me, right, but you're not working as hard as me, I'm gonna outshine you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't care about your talent or your skill. That's true. That's true. I kind of, I kind of butchered the question. I got, I got, I got. I, I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. What I was, what I meant to kind of say was like, without promotion, do you think someone can shine without necessarily like working I mean, as hard in promotion? Kind of. Not, it's, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's possible, but it's very difficult. Okay. Where it's like, word of mouth is an mf -er. Like, you could make a song, mm -hmm. put it into the world, and it grow legs on its own. I would blame the cover art, the song title, and the quality of the song, maybe even the feature if there is one. Mm -hmm. But that's those four together. Mm -hmm. You could pop without... Um, Notoriety, you could pop without popularity or pop without promoting yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, that's hard to do, that is very yeah. hard. To yeah, do. I was just asking, I was curious on your take of it, but yeah. yeah, you gotta be playing with the algorithm to do that. You gotta be making something that's already like trending on TikTok or something and mm -hmm. be playing with things that have already worked, right? It's right. so it's so unlikely that you're gonna just make a thriller level song or an old town road level song without putting in some work. Like old town road, this man got on TikTok and made a hundred thousand TikToks with his song until it popped. 
You know what I'm saying? That's dedication. Yeah. Again, hard work. Hard, hard work. work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ding, ding, hard ding, work. Ding. So yeah, like I'm, a, I'm over a million impressions. I'm trying to like turn that into revenue. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to turn that into clientele. I do so much. I DJ. I produce. I engineer. I, I do so much. I wear so many hats. Like skilled. And I'm really talented. Yeah. yeah. Sure, I got one for you. Talk to me. You film too, right? I do a lot. So I, I'm a, I usually ask this question to everybody. Well, to most of the people who make you know music too, but since you film, I'm gonna say this: What's one positive? What's one negative thing about the Richmond filmmaking scene? Hey, hi. Hey, you gotta be a little more specific. With your question. Do you mean from the camera point of view, or I say like all together: videography, acting. The biggest, the biggest, uh, okay. The biggest. I'm going to say the positive first because okay. the negative is standing out. The positive, uh, people are trying to work, okay? When I was coming up, uh, you know what I'm saying? When I was coming up, there wasn't so many people dedicated to the same thing. Everybody wanted to be a hustler or sports when I was coming up, you know what I'm saying? Rappers looked at like, are you corny? Why are you trying to rap? You know what I'm saying? Who are you <coughs> trying to rap? Now, today, I'm going to just get, okay, I said the positive. Here's the negative. It's the lack of creativity, and people aren't using all their available resources. Now, this is what pisses me off. Now look, I got, man, I ain't, ain't gonna do the most. I got tattoos that show you. I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. Now I also have tattoos that show you. I am from Richmond, Virginia. Now, I hate when I'm here, and people were born here and talk shit about here. That shit pisses me off. They ain't nothing to do. They ain't nowhere to go. They ain't nowhere to shoot. I call Cap. My YouTube channel with over 100 videos of different locations shot in Richmond disproves that statement. You know what I'm saying? stupid. I just shot six episodes mm -hmm. of music therapy on my channel with six different artists, and none of the videos look the same. They all feel different. They're all different vibes. Creativity here. That's all it is. It's the downfall. And I want to say Richmond. I don't, I don't like to talk about Richmond's music scene because I don't look at the market as just Richmond. I look at it like it's the East Coast or it's America. You know what I'm saying? I look at the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? And my goal is not to fill up the national. I want to fill up like Barclays. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I would fill up the national. I would love to, but that's not what I'm, that's not my plan. I'm trying to go as big as possible. I think I got um, kind of like what you were talking about as far as like, you know, what we were just saying, creativity and like, you know, oh, like the lack of creativity sometimes or using available resources. I think what it is, is like um, I kind of saw this in an interview somewhere. You see these like big studios and stuff, you know, you see a lot of remakes coming out and then there's a lot of trends where like you see um, and I'm strictly <coughs> talking about movies right now, but you could really use it in any creative form. You know, TikTok, a lot of people, you know, dance to the same songs, do the same challenges, do the same dances, make the same type of things. And that can trickle all the way down to the very lower level. And we happen to just live in Richmond. So we see it here, but it's, I, I would venture to say it's probably more widespread, right. but you always have your people who are creative and, you know, kind of. Yeah, like, yeah. example, um, y'all know Baby Tron? Yes, sir. Like, Baby Tron was a uh, special, artist to me because he shitty boy he he did something that wasn't completely new but he did it and stuck to it and made it a thing you know what i'm saying i feel like sometimes you're like okay in science what's it called um not I'm natural selection thing. what's the term it's a term for when it's a term for when um, a species has an evolutionary moment and all of them have that same evolutionary moment at the same time. I would say an epiphany, but no, no, it's no, not an epiphany. No, I don't think it's gonna come back to me. But basically, there was a science study done on monkeys a while ago, a long time ago, before we were all born. And they noticed that monkeys open bananas a certain way all around the world. They tried to figure out why if these monkeys did not live on the same continent, could they naturally think the same thing? And not to get all deep on that, but that applies to all species. Like if, if, damn, what's a good example? Cause I could, I could pick so many dramatic ass examples. I want something simple, like water. Say 
something happens, like Corona happens, but in water. Like if you drink a certain brand of water, you get sick or something. Of course we got phones now, it's not the same. But we could use our phones, yeah. like Amber Alerts, like we could all be on one accord mm -hmm. at the same time because of technology, just how we're all programmed to be. Word of mouth is a motherfucker, like, yeah. I could, bro, uh, crimes have been solved off of word of mouth, like, yeah. <laughs> it's a mother, yeah. it's crazy. Um, I feel like I'm very off from your question again. I, well, I was gonna kind of give you an example, like, as far as, like, what you were saying, like, everyone being on one accord, like, I was, oh, that's all I was about to say, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're bruh, good. That, that's all I was about to say, so, bro, videos, if, if the status quo is to be an alpha who get money, fuck bitches, and sell some drugs every now and again, that's going to be the common denominator if it's popular. If six out of ten people are doing that, it don't matter if you're in New York, you're going to see it. Drill. Chicago, drill. Houston, the um, trail scene, not drill, the trail, you know what I'm saying? It's chocolate school. It's all the same thing, it's just formulated a different way. Where like Richmond, they just take the melody off and now you got a DMV type beat. Take the be take the melody off and it's a DMV type beat, like dead ass. Like, <laughs> um, I'm, just, I'm on some shit like, if you wanna break the mold, you gotta do two things. You gotta be original to yourself and do something that's gonna be impactful to yourself. And you gotta, Tupac said it best, you gotta go into their world to lure them into yours. Whereas like you give them what they want just to get them to come to the album and listen to the real shit you wanted them to hear. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hell Mary gets you to the, not britta has got a baby, but you get what I mean. You get what I mean? Different album, but you get what I mean. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Um, Creativity really gotta dig for it. I would say I'd go back a little bit. Um, what got you started into making music? Phenomenal question. So, 2001, my little sister had a friend whose birthday party was going on. They did a block party for a young girl. And it was the first time, you see this little red, little tattoo right here? Mm -hmm. That's a symbol for Newmark, the turntables I use. Um, I saw those for the first time. I saw how the DJ like commanded the crowd. I got into DJing that Christmas when I got my first set of turntables, 2001. 2002, my brother writes my first verse for me. I'll give you a little context about that in a second. But at the same time he wrote that verse for me, I was already in Pro Tools, in FL Studio, already making beats and playing with sounds, but then he gave me a structure. Mm. I took that structure and figured out how, to, how he basically put the words together and wrote everything from then on. He wrote one verse for me and I wrote everything from then on. I was like seventh grade, sixth, seventh grade. Wrote everything from then on. Um, 2010 is when I shot my first video for Dr. Manhattan. It was a one shot video that I shot in two takes. We're halfway through, it transitions to another take, but it's the same shot. Mm -hmm. um, pretty deep song. And then 2010 and on, I just kept creating, collaborating, networking, and building. Here now, I've DJed mm -hmm. everywhere from New York to New Orleans. I say this: What is the end game for you? Mm. What, what is it that? Changes. What is that thing set as when you, when all is said and done, you can sit back and say, "Hey, I've done everything." I was bored. I did everything I said I wanted to do, <laughs> like everything. Like I performed for a huge crowd. That shit was beautiful several times. Uh, done everything, right? Magazines, I've done a number of things that you would just want to get done. The new goal, I'm making a network of content where I'm making my own VH1, my own Fox, my own BET, my own Disney. I want to make sitcoms, talk shows, short films, music videos. Um, I want to make infomercials for products that we're actually selling. Like, I want to do a number of things. Um, but the, like I said, the big end goal is to make my own channel, where it's like you turn on Xfinity or Netflix, you slide into my section. All right, I'm gonna give you, you could make a movie with any, 
five actors at any point in their careers, who would it be? Mm. I mean, you got 90s Denzel, you got Taraji P. Henson in the early 2000s, any time. Yeah. Any time. <laughs> any time. Or I'll make it a little harder. Out of all the yeah. Good. yeah. And it can be any drama, any genre. See, that's all I was about to ask. Any, genre, any, any genre you want. Any genre? Can I do two, can I do two fives? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do two fives. Twenty right. twenty two hours. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a successful movie. Okay. Well, subject to change. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do another one first. Hold on. I'm gonna do. That's a great question. Hold on. I'm gonna do a comedy first. So out the gate, prime only. Not right now. Just prime. Mm-hmm. Will Ferrell and Jim Carrey, right? <laughs> off rip. That's off rip. Yeah, right. That's yeah. off rip. That's that's off rip. Before I even get to the other three, that you think that would be a good match? match? You think that would be a good match? No. Okay. That's why I'd be a good match. <laughs> <laughs> He's being original to himself. Yeah. yeah. Two different styles, so it's perfect. So Jim Carrey, will, and plus I've never seen it. What? What? I've never. Eleven Color and SNL. What? Okay. So best two. So best from SNL. Best from. Eleven color, so Jim Carrey, Will Ferrell, who else? No. I'm gonna make it quick. I'm not, I'm not, I could be here for days on this one. That's a great question. That's crazy. Um, damn. Comedy. Kevin Hart. Prime. I wasn't even gonna say Kevin Hart. I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna say ah, Bernie ah. Mac. I'm gonna say Bernie Mac. Yeah. Rest in peace. Um. <laughs> Mm. You funny, right? Yes. <laughs> but saying that, right? Yes. So many <laughs> I want to say Kevin Hart. I want to say Cat Williams. I'm not going to because I feel like they're so duh, duh. Chris <laughs> Rock. No. Uh oh, man. Damn, this is difficult. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna switch it up. Well, I'm, I'm gonna add in Bob Saget. Uh, uh-uh, I'm gonna add in um R.I.P. R.I.P. Um, I forgot he died. He did die recently. Sheesh. Man, you made me forget what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Who was up there? Bob Saget. Right here. So <laughs> Y'all niggas. Are... What have I said so far? Will Ferrell, Jimmy That's Perry. all you said. You said Bernie oh, and Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. R.I.P. Not the three, you all. DC Young Fly. I was just brass brass. God damn, I was just getting ready to say that because that would be somebody that you wouldn't think about. That's God, the point. Damn, That's I'm the mad. Point. Is it I'm actually mad because I was just, just a combination. Is it because he's up and coming or just. Kind of. I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. So that's why I pick him. Um, Just one more. Mm. Just about to say that. No. Do a female. Thank you. I was you. Thank you. Monique. You are a funny nigga. <laughs> <thing. laughs> You're a funny nigga. Nah. And I wanted to do Tiffany Haddish, but nah. That girl is not funny. That girl is not funny. That girl is not funny. That girl is She's funny. To me, she's funny. You should she's do the funny. girl. The girl that be making a video with, um, what's that dude name? Come on, Pretty V. Yeah, her. Pretty V. Yeah. Or Light Skin Keisha. She rap, right? Big Bang B. Light Skin Keisha rap, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A comedy? I feel like I'm on this question for way too long. Let me hurry up and answer this stupid question. This is a fire question. Yeah, this is gonna bother me for the rest of my life. That's one of the questions I'm gonna always go back to. That's a great question. So the fifth person, can I say myself? Yeah. Hey. Myself. There you yeah. go. All right. Um, yeah, we got any, uh, you got any more questions? The drama though. The oh, drama. Okay. Um The second one. Um, you said what? The second one. The drama. The drama. One. Yeah, the okay. drama, right? So for a drama, <laughs> you gotta ask Queen Latifah. Oh, oh right. <laughs> right. You don't have to listen to her suggestions. All right, yeah, yeah. Sydney Gordon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Alex. <laughs> Low key, that's that's, that's why important. this side uh, of the angle, right? Yeah. 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 Right, right. right here. Um, Y'all like my braids. Sydney Gordon. I can't say your name. I'm gonna come out the gate with a woman. I'm gonna come out the gate with a woman. I'm gonna go Angela Bassett first. Her fine ass. Queen. Okay. Queen. Angela Bassett first. You know what? I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna do four females and a guy. Okay. Okay. That's a part. I like that. <laughs> Adam McDaniel. <laughs> Adam McDaniel. I wanna hear these Say names. What? Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Adam McDaniel. Taraji P. Henson. Okay. Madea. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like you. Man. All right, let me go. Yeah, because like, yeah, it's uh, messing with you all. Man. Welcome back. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is a woman. In three different. Uh, okay. Uh, don't play with my feelings like that. Um, Look at my face. Who I said so far? Angela Bassett. Roger P. Henson. I want to go somebody young. I don't know why I want to throw Chloe in there. You know Chloe? Food is so big. Are you? Uh, Lord have mercy. It's about the sister no. right there. Yeah. Chloe, baby. Chloe, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said one of the sister. Yeah. 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 Chloe, for some reason, because she's, yeah. She got she make music, baby. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lotta? Oh, did she? No, no more musicians. No more musicians. I gotta have a really good actress though. I have no. Oh, you know the light skinned girl from um, what's that? What's that? What was she? Yeah, yeah. Do your pizza. She was in a show with um, Denzel or Forrest Whitaker. Great debaters. You know that, like, oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. Oh, I know who you're um, Jesse Smollett's sister. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some yeah. her and Kevin Gates for some reason. Just put Kevin Gates in the movie. Y'all ain't hard. Y'all ain't hard. I was going uh, yeah. yeah. I ain't yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, put a fire rapper in there. We're gonna put Kevin Gates in the job. Wait, wait, way. hold up. You ask. So wait, I... no. What did you just say? I gotta make sure I heard it right. Taraji P Henson. No, no, I'm not. I, I, uh, duh, I heard all of that. I'm talking about the end when you threw Kevin Gates in there. He's the guy. But you said something else. It's gonna be a drama with Kevin Gates. I'm gonna throw a fire rapper in there. Kevin Gates, because he's so diverse. You said something else, though. I, think, I don't remember what I said. I said, I'm not gay. I was impersonating Kevin Gates. No. I think Jesus he... Christ, Alayda. What was it? Wait, was it the fly that hit the wall? What was it? God damn, wait. It made me incriminate myself already. Yeah, damn, wait. Right, yeah, yeah. We're getting copyrighted claims. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, what else? Kevin Gates is going to be in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already strike, my nigga. Come on the 804. It's already. Come on the 804 about that. <laughs> but no, go ahead. Well, I mean, did you really have a... <laughs> you have any, any other questions? I'm, I'm solid, yeah. What's one actor you think can't act? But it's mm. really big, but you think yeah, can't overrated, act. Yeah, overrated, overrated actor. Like an, an overrated actor. Because I've heard a lot of people say Michael B. Jordan. I kind of oh, don't, wow. I, I, I kinda don't right. agree with that. That's wild. Come on. Ah, I don't know about that. Yeah, my You're not that guy. Uh, no, trust me. You're yeah. not that guy. Uh, okay. One, on camera, I don't really talk negative of people. Okay. I try not to. Um, but if you have I don't, to. If I have to. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm okay. I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase it. It just who... needs to do better. How about? Well, damn. Bro, 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 bro. You know what I think? <laughs> I think Kevin Hart is a great actor. Okay. But he could have more roles where his demeanor isn't so childish. Okay. Okay, he could do some more serious roles because he does well with serious roles. Yeah. He could add more popular though. Not just some serious roles on Netflix, but a serious popular role that's like big. Like, popular, you put a budget behind it and they throw oh, like see. Paramount or like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> something big. I'm like Netflix is cool, but I feel like he doesn't have to just you know what I'm saying? Make people laugh to get a point across. Okay. You know? right. Y'all ready to get in these topics? Let's see. We got Pop it. All right. Right. I have yeah. a question. <laughs> Can you give me your topics? I got a question. Go ahead. Sorry. How'd y'all start this? Where'd this begin? Like, All my ideas. I made it up, and I'm the one who. Nah, I'm still alone. I just told them to put me as a female podcast. That's all. Yeah. I was a guest at first. And then I was. That like started. I don't know what this confusion is, my nigga. Right, as if we don't see each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah every yeah, other day. Yeah, right. yeah. I'll, I'll let Nick answer. I'll yeah. tell you how it all came about. So, what is it? 20, 2019, when I first met Alex and Jesse, I was coming from Dillard. I was coming back from my job where Alex works at Dillard's, coming back from, you know, Dillard's surgery. Oh, and yeah. I met. Jesse and Alex, they were starting doing their film on their first on their first series. So how the pod came podcast came about. Um, I always wanted to do a podcast and I told him, hey, maybe a podcast would be a good way to, you know, get the name out there. So we go in BCU Library. 
Oh, Set the phone up. Yeah, we was trapping off the phone. Yeah. Fuck the Strat. angle, fuck all that. Fuck the lights, fuck all that. It was just out of a conference room. You gotta start somewhere. Set the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, crazy thing. Our first episode really didn't air. That's how my podcast was. My original podcast. Niggas lose the footage. Yeah. Niggas, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. I'm I'm like, sure. Think about it. You'll be yeah, trying to transfer something from a, a whole hour podcast from an iPhone, and this is probably a couple years ago, so an iPhone 8. Trying to get it on the goddamn YouTube, it's gonna fail somewhere in between. So, yeah, yeah. We sat our phones up, bam. I would airdrop the entire episode to Jesse. Yeah. Or at least put it on YouTube first. Fumble. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. 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 And then That's wait. Not... Can't so, send it to Alex. He has an Android. Crazy thing is, we, that was that was where we recorded first all Alex's phone. So, you know, the file got corrupted and all that extra It was actually on YouTube Live. And shout out to you, Jobs. <laughs> we did a practice episode too. Oh yeah, CC's. Yeah. Documentary still out. If y'all want to know a little yeah. bit. Big facts. Yeah. Oh, I gotta check that out. I ain't gonna know. Yeah, this I is like, like a small some of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do yeah. something and I see it on my yeah. timeline for sure. 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 And then it came the biggest and the baddest. Yeah. You already know. Okay, well, I'll right, we'll actually since we never got to. Why did you, why did you want to join the show? To beat Alex's ass, let's go. Where, <laughs> where, where, okay, besides like, throwing elbows, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, why, why did you, why did you want to be on the show? Why are you dealing with us every other Tuesday? God, leave. Because I love you guys. You love us. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I just have to get cookout in it. Yeah, yeah, EBI, yeah, 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 yeah. We can ask HB yeah, yeah, the same yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. But um, because yeah, yeah. I feel like it you? was a platform, you know, where I can use my voice. And plus, I like to talk, and I actually want to get to know people, and I want to be a podcaster myself. You are and a podcaster. I, right, talk I am shit. a podcaster. <laughs> Period. And because I'm a roller like, podcast. These are really good people. <laughs> I'm a podcast. podcast. They're Perfect. really they're dope people, especially Nick. Like this, this is my podcast best friend. Isn't that right, Nick? My best friend. Uh-huh. Alex is the beef partner, and then. Oh, that's the op. It's the opposition. Well, not op. Yes. Uh, just beef partner here. They don't change his name, right? Yeah. Just beef. Then, <laughs> beef, 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 right. beef associate, right? Yeah. So. And then we have Big Bro Jess. Appreciate with it. With the tough love. Of course, man. Somebody gotta do it. Yeah. Emotional damage. Right. Uh, Nick, you want to ask HB? Oh, he's oh, too, yeah. he too busy, you know, texting the, the IG Jones, but you know. Why does HB deal with it? Yeah, what's wrong with you? What's the, what's the matter with you? He's got so many jokes. Man, can I say something about y'all podcast? I wanted to make sure I said on this episode, it just hit me. Man, look, as the shows I've done so far, the connection y'all have genuinely behind cameras and on camera is the most genuine I've seen. Y'all are a, a great group of Thanks, people. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna do the long stretch down. Yeah, believe, right? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Down the line, right? Yeah. Not for sure though. Alright, alright, all the goddamn sentimental, sentimental, intermental yeah. shit. God damn. Alright, let's yeah. get let's get in these goddamn topics. HB, y'all sigh as a bitch. NBA Finals, you been catching up with the playoffs, you've been seeing the basketball. It is Boston versus Golden State. Um, y'all wanna make the picks now? Y'all want to get it out the way. I'm going with Boston. Going with Boston. Damn. Golden State. Yeah. Uh, God. <laughs> God damn. All right. Golden State is six. So. You know what? I realized what Jimmy Butler did wrong. He just shorted his shot a little bit. Because if he if he put a little bit more on that, it was going. Yeah, that would have been tough. I, I would have had to give it to him. Yeah, they called And they're going to play two minutes. Right, yeah, that's tough. Every time somebody touched Tatum, he flopped. I mean, at least y'all can say y'all y'all lost to the better team though. Y'all was banged up. Y'all was banged. Y'all was banged. I'm saying y'all was banged up this year. Y'all, I'm trying to give y'all an excuse. God damn it. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to give y'all niggas an out. God damn. Nah, you just said fuck it. No excuses. They should. They should have won. Oh lord. It was the oh lord. Even at home. Hey, Jeff, oh, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. I think I think we won the game. Yeah. Tough, man. Tough, tough, tough. tough. Exactly. Oh, oh, oh yeah. man. Well, yeah, more fouls than Boston than we did in Miami. Oh, Lord. <laughs>
Uh, but nah, nah, we, we gonna see. We, we gonna see what's going on. Um, shit. Since I just dogged you, what, what, what was your topic? What was your topic? Uh, yeah, what we, what we getting into? What foolishness are we about? I'm foolish. Have you heard about the middle school teacher? Bro. Oh my God. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm stuck on the fact that why was dude 16 in middle school? Thank you. I saw that too. Really? Yeah. I so let 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 do it. 16 HB, catch us up, catch us, catch Wait, him up. What the fuck is going Wait, on? Do the whole title, go ahead. Oklahoma's middle school teacher, age 28, is charged with sending naked photos and videos to a 16 year old after telling him he heard rumors that he liked her. Oh my god! One more time, HB, in the shorter version, just because they might not have got it through the noggin, HB, just the shorter version. Alright, a, a teacher in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma. Isn't, isn't Oklahoma like one of the worst in education, period? Like middle, that's like the middle of college or like middle of school? I don't do that. Yeah, yeah, don't do that, Sean. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, so, I mean, technically, right. right, right. <laughs> yeah, hey, amen, same man. And she, oh, she got arrested, technically, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I like middle school is like 10th grade? Like, what? That's what I'm saying. I don't know how I brought 16 in middle school. I, I, I we really get yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, we, we, somebody need to really check into that. But mm -hmm. other than that, what's, what's your initial thoughts, Nick? Like, yeah, you, you got the floor. Right. 16 in middle school. Mm -hmm. And somebody, of course, if you read the comments, a couple of niggas like, he fumbled the bag. Like, <laughs> You know, we always gotta go to the to the peanut gallery, of course. Right, right, right. Yeah. Somebody say he snitched. Somebody say how he snitched on himself. It's, it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of man. But Nick, what you what you got, man? What you got? What you saying about collective? That's what it was. Collective something. Panicking and yeah, don't panic. Don't panic. Alright, y'all stop trying to be funny. Nick, alright, my boy is just, he just stayed back. What did you fail? Well, yeah. well nah, he, had, no, he yeah, had to fail health and right Well, I mean, <laughs> well, if she that's was. He well, had to fail health and be first off. Why does it matter if you fail? I got it, I got it. He was supposed to be in high school. Come on. Well, first of all, I see why he stayed back in middle school if he was catching the dick. Yeah, yeah. I have no reason to leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's time for you to go. Demarcus, it's time for you to go. No, I'm gonna go ahead and stay in middle school. Right? I, 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 I like walking the lines and lunch. <laughs> Let me. All right. I'm gonna ask the ignorant answer. What did the teacher look like? I like holding. Wait, 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 wait. Am I tripping? Or did you know they are age questions? He didn't. He actually oh. hasn't done that back. Oh, yeah, back. But we're yeah, not going to backtrack. Yeah, it's yeah. over. He actually didn't do that last yeah. episode. I was going to okay. get on his ass later. Don't worry about you it. You said the teacher looked Cook like uh, Gina from uh, Martin? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> she looked like a little modern Martin. I mean, look, if she ain't going to jail, she's going to miss a lot. Go ahead, show us the picture. Go ahead and screenshot that, too. So well, I need. Too <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, man, say, man. Hey, I. She messing it up with teacher. I'm weak with the girls. I wouldn't mind failing one year. <laughs> <laughs> let me go ahead. Let me fuck around. <laughs> I need extra attention. Let me ex graduate. Yeah. But yeah, that that is wild, HB. Um, shit. This is the age question. Have y'all seen um? Speaking of film shit, low key. Have y'all seen Tyler Perry's mansion or his um his yeah. estate? No. That shit look kind of crazy. Yeah, 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 like that nigga. That nigga got like a yeah, like a it, it's 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 pretty ridiculous. What's the point of having houses that big? I was actually, I kind of wanted to talk about that. Cause somebody said that in the comments. Huh? <clears throat> Throw shit, parties. Man. Shit, But God man. damn. Flex. Hey, if you buy legacy, that shit is important. Like me, I'm trying to build, bro. I'm trying to buy and build. Well, yeah, one would assume he's doing stuff probably on that property, I guess. Yeah, like I'm sure it's not just residential. How much does he pay oh. to cut the grass? A write-off. That's a good ass. Write-off, itemized. You can, yeah. yeah like, I'm see glad y'all what auction. you call. will see me at a land auction. So I'm out here trying to get everything I can put my hands on. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave my kids everything. You can, you can rent that space out? People want to do projects on your property? All that. Yeah. You can get hella bread. This man on a military base. Chill. Well, well Tyler Perry, if you, <laughs> know, if you want to do the 804 podcast, base. right, on the, yeah, on the property. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. On the compound. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. right. Don't worry. I'm next generation. I'm about to get me. I'm about to, I'm about to buy for a living. I ain't worried about it. 
Uh, shit, I can't Good find luck the guy. Good luck at <laughs> Good luck at it. Oh, did anybody watch the fight Saturday? Okay, that nigga got knocked the fuck out. Oh my moment, God. Oh, oh my God. Watch the road. Watch the road. Then I go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Is that my pillow? Oh, no. Oh, I just got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. Can you snap? 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 Can the way in until after the fight. Well, I saw the, I saw the part with Brock Christian. I saw that. Mm -hmm. Bro, you saw the trash talking. Did you see the trash talking? He just no yeah, I saw. I, I'll hey, clip it up and edit it in. But yeah, bro was talking shit to him. But didn't bro, like go there and not get any fight though. Done, bro. Yeah. I, I'm going to fight him. I'm going to beat him. I think I have it. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. Hey, y'all saw he wanted to rematch. He didn't know where he was yeah, after he that knockout. Was. Yeah, where you're in the he street. He had no idea Appreciate who you. he was, what planet he was on. Brock uh, what you uh, what you said uh, what you said the ref asked him to step left what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> right, I think they say I'm go ahead and get him out of here. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right, right. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Turn uh, around. I'm the call, yeah. I'm the call girl. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the ref I got a question on topic, kind of. If y'all could, I want to hear everybody's answer. If y'all could pick any two celebrities to get in the ring from any time in their prime, what two people would y'all get to fight each other? Celebrity deathmatch. What's up? Cassidy Lil Wayne. Who? You're a wild guy. You're a wild guy. Why Cassidy Lil Wayne? Why Cassidy? You remember those days when they used to be Yeah. That's exactly why I used to be. Okay. He said, oh. Please. Ice Cube and Jerry Heller. That. Man, your knowledge is extensive. I want to talk to you after the show. You have a chat. I want to pick your brain. You know a lot. I like that. Um. Al, uh, who you got? Uh, Scrapping it out. Let's see, I'm thinking. I want to be like Chris Brown. Eh, maybe like just Chris Brown and Drake. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see them fight, but I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I feel like Chris Brown would win low key. Just because I, he's trained in martial arts, I think. I hope they never fight. I pray they, they never they fight. They're not. They're not. Man, if I had to pick two people at this point in the history of the world, I wouldn't Ooh, mind I seeing like Obama Trump. Hmm? I wouldn't mind seeing like Obama Trump or like Biden Trump. <laughs> some presidents fighting? That would be some gay stuff. That would be some gay stuff. You know what? I'll pay for Biden Trump. Bruh, I would pay for Biden Trump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Biden didn't win. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, I'm gonna oh, shut up. Oh, I ain't gonna say who I got winning. Who y'all oh, got winning? Who? Biden versus Trump? Oh. Trump, yeah. I'm taking, I'm taking Biden. I will take Biden. Maybe like Biden, Billy, maybe, but I don't. I don't know. Biden had a coordination all the whole time. I had a hand. I don't even remember when he wake up. <laughs> <laughs> but he might wake up and snap. He might wake up and snap. The government gonna hear something about the president. FBI, open up! Man, protect <laughs> Biden. Man. Black trucks all, out, actually, all outside actually, our house. I actually do got a good one. Michael Jackson and Prince back in the day. You know, that's what maybe that'd be a that'd fight. be an acrobatic ass fight, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Hey, hey, I hate to stir the pot, bro. This is me trolling. Kanye P. Davidson. Oh my god. <laughs> Win, the only reason I don't want to see that because I can't Kanye, see Kanye, Kanye lose. Kanye I can't that. see Kanye lose. Like I don't want to see Kanye lose. I don't, I don't want to see that. Also, right? I don't want to see Kanye. Kanye, Kanye so, I'm not even saying I'm not saying it's a guarantee older, that he loses, yeah, but I don't want to see the possibility of him losing. So just don't fight nobody. Yay. Stay being cool. Energy. Yeah. Right, just too, yeah. Man. Just just be an influence, too. my nigga. Don't 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 fight nobody. All right. Brother shouldn't be fighting because his young ass. Might you never know, man. You never know. Kim looking like. You never know. I mean. Yeah. Right. Oh. Uh, all right. Okay. That would be all right. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. For the beauty of Minaj. Nah. No. Mm -hmm. I should say. I should say. City girls fight each other. Lady guys. Best she brings the uh, best match back. That I I don't think I would just pick City girls, but I would definitely say the Nike. Cardi B and Nicki Minaj? Mm -hmm. No. No. Hmm. I feel like Cardi might win. I think Cardi will win too. Mm -hmm. I have to see. Yeah. 
A twerking she dancer. Yeah, girl. Twerking <laughs> dancing to you? Do you think twerking is? Does twerking qualify? Like, if they had a dance battle. You think a girl could win by just Well, uh, <laughs> you laid it, you laid it on a thick line too. I mean, do you mean, right, yeah, you laid it on like, I'm like, go ahead. Bro hitting okay, back flips. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Bro hitting back flips, bro hitting spins in his face. And Sean, you just throwing it back. <laughs> Versus, right, yeah, that's just it. That's just hey. it. Right, that's just it. Like, y'all laughing, joke. I'm hey. dancing. Like, we're dancing like a dance battle, yeah. Hey, that's wait, it. Wait, that's wait, talent wait. and skill, oh, right, yeah. yeah. So. You ten out of ten. Yeah. Check him a lot, man. Yeah. He asked me a question. Why do you get crazy? Do you know uh, how to swear? Step up and swear. No, I don't know how to do it. Do you know how to do it? No, I don't want to know. I feel like... I got another one. Dolphin uh, Yoga. Who? Young Dolphin Yoga. Oh. Okay, you go start up here. All right, there you go. Stir in the pot. There you go. Stir in the pot. Y'all didn't know I'm a professional instigator. He had the box him after the truth. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Boosie and Dwayne Wade. I hey. understand. I understand. Wow. I don't even know if we'll win that. I can't even like guess who'll win that, bro. All respect to Boosie. Nigga, Boosie versus the internet. Right, yeah. Know. Let's let him. Let's let that nigga box it out. Right, yeah, right, right. Um, Vlad versus Buster Rhymes. It's a whole athlete versus a rapper, you feel me? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> Y'all didn't even try to get I just said somebody versus Buster Rhymes. <laughs> Oh, man. Actually, anybody versus Buster. I don't think you want to see Buster Rhymes right nah, now. Buster. Yeah, actually, no. Nah, Buster Bust the Bus is, yeah, that nigga is huge, right? Yeah, yeah. I, man, but I yeah, for sure. Versus the Buster Rhymes. Yeah, that's not a problem. Hey, hey, we, hey, Breezy, let me show you how to do that thing on there. Floyd versus a dictionary. Scenario versus Buster Rhymes. 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 Scenario versus Hey, can I ask you a dark ass question? Okay. Or would you rather question? Sure. Would you rather die tomorrow or never live? We done after this. Letting <laughs> 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 right yeah. hey. Let the viewers at home know right now. Go ahead and get ready. Get right here. The, the little I'm YouTube right. tone is going to be at the end in the red. Right, in the corner. Pick, a, pick this video. Right. Hopefully an ad don't cut us off. But right here. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I don't know. Come I'm on. Tighten up. Yeah, what you want to do? Live dying on ass. Swing it Oh, no. no. See, that's actually, repeat the question real quick. Would you rather mm -hmm. perish tomorrow? This is the, the Jesse Wonders for the day. No bullshit. I like it. All right. I have a lot of would you rather questions. Don't get me Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. So, but would you rather? Like, my would you rather is to fuck you up. But, and I oh, promise, Lord, or I your money know. back, and we don't do refunds. Oh. Gotcha, bitch. Would you rather perish tomorrow or never live in the first place? And that all our current age. Like, like you would have been. You would be 24 right now. You would have been extracted from the people. No, I'm saying versus like that. Into like, the yeah. vag vaginal cavity. <laughs> The Vaginal Canal. <laughs> I'll die tomorrow. You, you know. <laughs> I'll die tomorrow. Emotional we got, we got damage. We got an answer. Thank you. Emotional so damage. Hey, yo, tomorrow I'm out of here. Let me answer the question. I'm out of here tomorrow. And why is that? This had to happen. What are you talking about? This had to happen. All of this had right. to occur. It was God's plan. Even in tomorrow, it ends tomorrow. Thanks so much. Especially after you can ask a crazy <laughs> right. ass question. Right, yeah, I bet, yeah, it might want to happen tomorrow. Right, yeah, right. you know what? Right, yeah, my man. Not, not tomorrow. I'm going to tell y'all. Don't put that on me, God. Right, yeah, not Sunday. Right, yeah, June 30th. Yeah, right. Nah, no bullshit. Um, I, I, honestly, I really don't know how to answer that. Um, When it's my time to go. There it's go. my time to go. Right, yeah, go ahead, put the flowers on me. Right, um, um, right. I believe bring it back, yeah. Yeah, Helene, you got to answer that? Wait, do I know I'm going to die tomorrow? If you pick to live. Okay, because I got a lot of <laughs> yeah, people. You're that I got a lot of stuff to say to some people. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got some real honesty. Uh, you, can't, you can't ask these niggas certain type of questions, you You can't just be firing off. This is why we ask the questions. Right, nigga. right, yeah, because it. All right, last one. No, no, you good. Go ahead. Last one. Mm -hmm. Last one. And I promise you, you're going to be uncomfortable. Y'all got to answer these. Oh, Lord. All right. Jay, the only one who don't have to answer. All right. <laughs> Too easy. All right. All right. I apologize, viewers. This is it's fast forward if you're under 18. All right. Oh, Lord. I'm Would you rather 
Have sex with your mom. You want the age question? That's what you want. Right? That's what you want. Uh, yeah. You want Go ahead. You want the other one? Go ahead. No, no, no. Stay, stay here. Stay here. Stay you want here. Nah, no, stay here. One stay one here. Nah, you, you already laid out the first half. Yeah. Go ahead and finish the game. It's not like they want the second. Go ahead and finish. They gonna, they gonna react. They gonna react because they gonna have the answer too. So go ahead and finish oh, yeah. the game. Yeah. yeah they gonna have the answer. So yeah. go ahead and finish the game. Yeah. So. Declare yeah, it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. The whole job. The whole job. Would you rather? Lord Jesus. Have sex with your mom. Mm-hmm. Or. Let me get out of print. And let me finish the statement. Talk your shit. Would you rather have sex with your mom or have sex with your dad trapped in your spouse's body? God, <laughs> 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 wow, she's so weak. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Who going first? <laughs> Ain't nobody rushing this sound. Who going first? <laughs> I think I asked you to declare it. Be a mom or dad. Hey, I, I answered the last one you were <laughs> So it's up to y'all two. No, I'm going to take Jesse. I don't said. know how to answer that one. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I'm going to take Jesse. Yeah. So look, normally, and I'm not, I'm, normally when, if you don't answer the question, you have to take a shot, but we're going to y'all in. You said what? If, normally, when I play the game, if you don't answer the questions I give, you got to take a shot. But we're going to y'all in. We're going to y'all in. Nah, no pressure. And for the viewers at home, as I'm thinking, I'm not thinking about the decision. I'm thinking of, I'm just mapping it out. So I'll even say it again. So Sex your mom me. or your dad, let's, so let's say I have a girl, I have a girlfriend. Yeah, 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 so let's say I have a girlfriend, my dad in my girlfriend's body. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. No, you're having sex. You or your, your conscience is having sex with your dad, but you're trapped in your spouse's body. So your dad's fucking you, but you're your girl. <laughs> you're the girl getting inserted. You get what I'm saying? Countdown. Countdown. All aboard. That girl. So, mother of all. Oh, hey. Yeah, that is, that is completely, yeah, right. And this is why I wanted to map it out. This is why I didn't want to answer the question. Thank you, HB. I had to see what was going on up there. So, wow. Okay. Yeah. Woo, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, yellow. Yeah, yeah. Lord Jesus, cuz. So, one or two. Nobody's. How about we all oh, just we're gonna opt out? Well, how about this? Do you how have about an comment answer? below? Comment below, mom. That right? is crazy. Do you comment have an below. answer? Huh? Do you have an answer just so we can hear an answer? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. All right. Look, if anybody ever asks you this question, this is what you do. Okay. Because it gotta be a trick to answer. <laughs> it gotta be a way out. Right? It gotta be. Please. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Help me, nigga. Help me. Right, yeah. So, go ahead. This is. But look for the viewer, mm -hmm. this, this cheat code is in the life. It okay? always. And sometimes don't cheat codes don't help. So sometimes you gotta take the L. So again, uh, uh, you either answer the question or you take the, the shot. L. That's one of the ones. Oh, you take the shot. Oh, I thought you meant like an answer for real. Well, okay, no, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I know some niggas that'll answer that shit confidently. Well, Let me just say that. We've had the Missouri on podcast. So we, yeah. We've had a lot. Yeah, there's, 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 we all know certain niggas you just can't ask certain things. But yeah, wow, wow, wow. You good? <laughs> Your face just red stank. Right, yeah. I said, hey, man. Wow. All right, let me ask some more subtle questions. Still bad, though. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to do that. Nah, I'm not gonna all right, sorry. Yeah, we do got to get, get out of here. Right, right, right. After the camera's off. Oh, man. All right. We can get these shout outs real quick and we can get up out of here. I will start with you. You know All what time right. it is. Oh my god. He went to school, y'all. Y'all he, he went to school. I already know what time it is. He wears glasses. Well, not today. Not today. Though. Yeah, but okay. Y'all know what time it is, Jesse. Jesse, it's been past the time. Time yes, for us to go, it's June. yeah. It's June. Yeah. So I'ma just go ahead and say it. If y'all haven't got y'all taxes done yet. Yes, you're sir. kind of wild, but you're in luck because if you need to get your taxes done, hit me up, hit my dad up, Fiscal Fitness Tax and Financial Services. Ask that question, Jesse. Man, where is that at, though, my dude? Yeah, so you at America's Best right now. We're in Southside Plaza, right? So just mm. come on right down the street okay. to 2650 Hall Street at the intersection of Hall and Midlothian. 
right across the street from Sitka. Fiscal fitness tax and financial services. Been doing taxes for over 25 years. His dad. I mean, Nick says it's your dad's shop, but do you be in that job sometimes? You already know your boy oh, be yeah. up in there oh, doing okay. them taxes. Now, now and now and then. You already know your boy be up in there doing taxes. You do the taxes. You already know. So, I do some of the taxes. My mom does some of the taxes. My dad does some of the taxes. It's a family business. This is right. I let him do my taxes. I didn't get my he money His dad does open a tax, tax business. Um, I should have let his dad or so, his mom did it. Yeah, that's the reason. Taxes? Hmm? Do you have any tax up for taxes? Any, any tax for tax? How much y'all charge? Tax in for taxes? Oh, word, word. I'm trying to be funny. I was playing. Uh, yeah, no, no. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't get the real numbers out here. Right, right, About 3,000. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, just give me your return back. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. 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 Whatever you get back, just when you talk. Nah, it's 160 <laughs> for, um, it's 160 for federal, and then one state, if, and then $50 if it's another state. So if you, like, have income in multiple states, or you're, like, doing a part year, or something like that, so if I'm selling my body in different states, oh, is that income in different states? Oh my god. Well, <laughs> since uh, are you talking about like Only Like this dick is not free. This dick is never free. Oh my god. I get paid. What would what would be your um what kind of form would you have necessarily? What kind of like, you know, like like 1099 <laughs> <laughs> like I'm funny as that. Yeah, yeah. not yet. <laughs> 1099, yeah, 1099. Giraffe. Giraffe, yeah, yeah. I've never heard of 1099. I know 69s. That's like some new shit. What's that? I'm trying to be funny. They're trying to make you. Yeah, nah, nah. They're trying, but they can't. But these freaking it, right? Yeah. Right, these freaking it. I can make it legal now. I can, right, yeah, yeah. You straight? Give me a 1099, boy. Are you always doing something? My bad. It's not broken. Oh, no. I had to be like, yeah, hey, try to get the views up. Right, yeah, right. Try to get the subscribers bigger. Right, yeah. Are you done with your shout out? Oh, yeah. Love you, Ariel. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Belated. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, we had a good cookout. Yeah, I mean, everybody eat. I did not help at the end at all. You know how every black cookout, you know, the, the main thing is helping at the end. Alex over here talking to everybody. Mama, uncle. Yeah, when I was six, I did have that way. Me and Nick over there slaving. Mm -mm. So there were some people who hadn't yes. seen me in a while. Some family since, members. Since he and, was like needy and family and friends <laughs> that wanted to talk to me and stuff. So okay, they were talking okay. to me. And you know, since it was my father's 60th birthday celebration, they just wanted and to he talk. And he had the guest over there hugging that dang on hot dog. Man, put that in the car. Put that in the truck, pickup truck. Yeah, so of course we had to we had to walk off our food basically. Yeah, yeah, niggas had been so. I was helping out a little bit afterwards. So I was yeah, you helped watch. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was helping out. Yeah, well, super oversauce, oversauce, supervised. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah. Man. yeah. That's your boy. <laughs> Hilaria, you got anything? Any shout outs? Since you back, you know what I mean? Back in the place to be. Oh, New phone. I'm sorry. And Brady's fresh. I need to get mine. I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even joking. Yeah, I did ask, yeah, yeah. I was putting his hair on somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to get my shit like yours. <laughs> Y'all think it's just funny. <laughs> Top tone. Go, Halea. All right, y'all think it's too. <laughs> um, what did I just say? It's all love. It's all love. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout, out. shout out to me. Yeah. Shout out to my brothers, Alex. I mean, damn, I fucked up. I didn't mean to say Alex. I meant Jesse. I think you meant you meant it right the first time. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> this is all day, bro. All my day. bestie, Nick. That's why you're right next to each other. All day. My bestie, Nick. Y'all already know what time it is. Big Great love. Big, big Shout out to. Right, yeah, get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Strong eye. Right. Strong eye. Right. Strong eye. Right. So shiver, but shy. Cyber, yes, for sure. For coming out, shout out to my best friend of the day. Um, shout out to Peach Street. Shout out to Rasu. Shout out to Abio Kicks. Shout out to um, HB. What does HB stand for? Holla back. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. And that's what it stands for. Yeah. Yeah. Back, yeah, you know. um, <laughs> yeah, just continue to be great. 
sure. Go ahead, yeah. Bess. You got anything, Nick? Oh, uh, shit. Shout out. Shout out to the project we got going on. Shit. Me? I finally got shit straight with my computer. My yes, God. sir. My God. Thank God. God. Hallelujah. My boy, Nick computer wasn't letting niggas do a damn it. Right, yeah. So. Uh, Nick was like, nah, I can't. Yeah. Right. So we I stayed up till like 12.30. Yes, sir. Getting shit done. The grind. Other than that, shit. Yeah. Filming again this week. We grinding out here, man. We grinding out here. Still getting... Some more people are coming. Some people are are just it is what it is. But I love y'all. I love you too. Mm. I love her. Shout out, little bro. Carl. I haven't talked to you in a week, so Carl. I haven't called you. Make sure you're good. Carl. I'll take that. And he was talking that shit when the Celtics won. So. Carl. Of course. But other than that, mom, dad, love y'all. Carl, Carl. Y'all Carl. have been supporting me throughout this whole movie process. So Carl. I really appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. It's all love. Um, I ain't got too much. This one time in RBA. You say. Decent episode, episode three. You say. Niggas around the city doing crazy shit. Shout out to everybody <coughs> that helped out. Shout out to everybody that acted. Shout out to all my boy Alex for being the main character. A lot of hard he work. He is a character. You see his character? Yes, he is. Yeah, I want no it on cap. camera. Yeah, can't cap about that. Um, shout out to our guy Shy actually for coming through. We got a lot of projects. Um, I wish y'all could low key hear like his ideas and shit, man. Mm-hmm. This man got a lot of shit coming. Maybe in a shot. Uh, right, 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 right. But I'm even behind is the stuff that you're not even going to say, right? Like, so for sure, you got a lot of shit coming. <laughs> you got a lot of direction, so I'll let you go. I can shout out to all, Phil. Anything you got? That's on me? Yeah, it was a bad thing. Like, first, first and foremost, first and foremost, get the little the, the record scratch where it like stops the music. Nah. All right, yeah, yeah. Al, Al, hey. take, Al, take pay for that one. Hey, yeah. look, yeah. shout out to the 804 podcast. First and foremost, thank you, man. Shout out to the 804 podcast. You know what I'm saying? They've been nothing but helpful. They've had my back. You know what I'm saying? They give me motivation to keep grinding, keep working. I've been grinding all my life. Grinding all my life. life. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. Look, I'm going to do my quick shout outs. I want to shout out to the viewers. Shout out to y'all for subscribing and liking and following. The 804 Podcast on all socials, of course, YouTube, anywhere you can get the 804 Podcast, iTunes and such. Look, follow Shower Bruce, you already know it's TCG, BBE, TF, PNRG, Cinco Dynamo 5.9, and they call me now Shower Bruce, you already know. They go without saying, they shower not shiver. I DJ, produce, engineer, I do videography, photography, and more. I'm <coughs> acting in a lot of upcoming productions with the 804 Podcast, J1, Day 1. You already know the vibes. We working, staying busy. Um, I got a short film with Dre Person coming out. I can't say the name of it. It's fire. It's a scary movie. Fire. Okay. And then I got a short film coming out with Coca, the stutterer, the stutterer poet. Fire. Um, short version. I got music coming. Content coming daily. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere music is sold. Music therapy is coming to a city near you. If you know somebody fire, send them my way. Instagram at Shava Bruce. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Take us up out of here, then, man. Shout out to Andy Brand, too. Yeah. 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 I appreciate you, too. And, uh, again, thank you to Shop for coming through. Thank you. Again, I'm Nick. Justin. Alex. Hey, and that was the 804 Podcast. <laughs> We made a lot of calls to get this nigga here, right? Yeah. yeah. So don't worry about his uh, lower region, his ACL, MCL. Uh, Just right. CP3. Yeah. 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 Kind of when, uh, he's under the seat. Yeah. Bow. You can sign wherever you want. You, you know, did. Hopefully, this be worth some money one day. You did that to. Uh, under the seat. <laughs> yeah. Where's his legs at? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Wherever yeah. you want, man. Yeah. Yo, man. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the right shoulder. You know of course. What I'm Right here, nice and clean, just a little. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, boy. It's my spot. That's yeah, you already know. You already know what time it is. You know, know what time you know, it is. I appreciate you, my guy. Man, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. 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 And we yes. are. Ow, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're out, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>